Welcome to all the viewers to another video of our career counseling series program in which we are going to explore the scope and opportunities relevant to various BS programs offered in Pakistan. So today we are going to discuss about BS Bioinformatics, its introduction, what the field is about, its eligibility criteria, from where you can pursue your BS Bioinformatics degree scope and career opportunities in the field of bioinformatics so before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can receive regular updates regarding scholarships fellowships internships exchange programs and career opportunities abroad as well as within pakistan so let us begin with today's video First of all, it is imperative to understand the concept behind the field of bioinformatics. Bio means life and informatics means IT. So basically bioinformatics is a combination of biological sciences with the IT based knowledge. So as related to genetics and genomics is a scientific sub-discipline that involves using computer technology to collect, store, analyze and disseminate biological data and information such as DNA and amino acid sequences or annotations about those sequences. So if I uh, try to explain in simple words, bioinformatics is basically uh, the dealing of biological data with the help of computational technologies. As you know that there is a coding uh, in creating life means at the level of molecular level, at the level of DNA or RNA, there are codes that encode for particular DNA, amino acids, proteins, etc. So these codes needs to be analyzed in order to derive useful information. So here comes bioinformatics that helps biological scientists to understand with the deeper knowledge behind these codes that exist at our cellular level. So coming towards the eligibility criteria and duration of the degree program, you need to clear FSC pre-medical in order to take admission in BS Bioinformatics with at least 50% marks. So this uh, basic threshold level of marks percentage can vary university to university, but generally the general criteria is 50% theoretically as well as some of the universities may consider 60% marks or 70% marks also. Entry test for admission is required. University can take its own entry test or it can rely on the test taken by HEC. It is a four years BS honors program. So make sure you are not doing any two years programs of BSc and MSc right now as uh, both of these programs have become obsolete and internationally only four years honors program is now acceptable. Each semester is of six months duration and you will be having eight semesters in total during your BS program. So coming towards the fee structure, the fee structure can vary greatly among the universities as well as uh, the sector you are targeting. Either if you are targeting public sector universities, then it can lie in between 30,000 to 80,000 rupees. And if you are targeting the private sector universities, then your, then your semester fee can be between 1 lakh to 2 lakh 20,000 rupees per semester. So moving towards the uh, universities that are offering BS Bioinformatics, University of Punjab, Lahore, Government College University, Lahore, Qaidiazm University, Islamabad, Government College University, Faisalabad, University of Agriculture, Faisalabad, Comsats University, Islamabad, Kohat University of Science and Technology, International Islamic University, Islamabad, University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Lahore, University of Karachi. So these are some of the universities that are offering BS Bioinformatics programs and there are many other universities that you can explore yourself as well. Just search for the list of universities offering BS Bioinformatics in Pakistan and you can find out the list of the universities. So what are the major areas of specialization uh, within BS Bioinformatics or after completing BS Bioinformatics? Basically, there are two areas which you can choose uh, to specialize in after doing a degree in bioinformatics. One is the development side and the other is application side of bioinformatics. So if you go towards the development side, then you will be learning more about the programming, coding and software development, database management, etc. And if you are going towards the application side of bioinformatics, then you will can become a data scientist, biostatistician, genomics expert or systems biology. Uh, to understand deeper knowledge behind the molecular mechanisms uh, through coding and programming. So uh, there is one area of bioinformatics software development. If you are good at coding, you can choose this area as your speciality. Then you can become a data scientist or biostatistician. Uh, basically, there is a 
emerging science of data scientists uh, there is a dire need of to analyze big data and uh, the big data analysis falls under data science so these scientists deal with an enormous amount of data using specialized computers uh, to draw uh, useful inferences out of it and biostatistics is basically a field that combines biological sciences with statistics and these biostatisticians are basically dealing with the statistical aspects of this data then you can go towards genomics you can either go towards studying human genomics animal genomics or plant genomics depending on your interest basically the omics based technologies includes genomics proteomics transcript transcriptomics uh, metabolomics metagenomics etc so all these omics based technologies can be further specialized in after doing a degree in bioinformatics then you can uh, go towards systems biology systems biology or basically system engineering uh, is an aspect of uh, bioinformatics that deals with uh, overall connectivity of the biological systems and deeper understanding of particular component of the system uh, towards it, towards its various functions so there are many bioinformatics students that are right now doing the degree and uh, uh, they accuse their teachers that they are not teaching them about the developmental side of bioinformatics or uh, they cannot learn about the programming languages that are being used globally so uh, online courses are a great way to enhance your knowledge in bioinformatics so i would suggest you these three platforms to find out the relevant courses related to bioinformatics on edx coursera and iversity you can find out the certified courses from top universities like Cambridge University, Oxford University, Harvard University available on these uh, three websites. EDX is my personal favorite so you can use it to enhance your knowledge about bioinformatics, data analytics, data science and genomics etc. So coming towards the career options after BS Bioinformatics. Uh, after doing a BS Bioinformatics you can either join a research center as a researcher there are several positions of research assistant, research analyst, research associate and research centers so every biotechnology related center will require bioinformatician because biotechnology is incomplete without bioinformatics based analysis so bioinformatics and biotechnology are part and parcel to each other so if you belong to one of these fields you need to acquire the knowledge of the a second field as well you can also join as a bioinformatician in the sequencing industry or diagnostic labs so as i told you that viral identification is also based on bioinformatics several sequence based analysis that are used in research are all done by bioinformaticians so you can join these relevant industries for the position of bioinformatician then you can become a biostatistician as well uh, in the field of uh, data science so data scientists hire biostatisticians for statistical data analysis you can specialize in this field as well you can join as a microbiologist in research centers or labs so if you are more inclined towards virology bacteriology or uh, fungi or algae based studies related to bioinformatics then you can specialize in the field of microbiology as well pharmacologist uh, pharmaceutical industry now specially hire uh, pharmacologists that are basically bioinformaticians that deal with the pharmacological data uh, to produce uh, different to enhance the research behind pharma industry uh, there is a emerging concept of customized medicine so for that purpose uh, in the developed world people do sequence the uh, information of their patient before prescribing them the uh, particular medicine so you can also specialize in the field of pharmacology after doing bioinformatics database management database management is one of the key aspects of bioinformatician that a bioinformatician is expected to handle big data and in an organized manner so if you are specialized in database management you can join the industry or academia sector in the relevant field as a developer different companies like sequencing companies developing com companies software developers hire bioinformaticians for developing softwares related to biological sciences so you can work as a developer if you have a strong coding background systems engineer there is an emerging concept of crispr based technologies gene editing technologies so all these technologies require analyzing data bioinformatics based data so you can join the healthcare industry or research centers as a systems engineer or bioengineer after doing bioinformatics so this was all about 
the aspects of BS Bioinformatics. Hope you have liked the video. Please share with all of your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. This is Dr. Bookworm signing off. Thank you.